And you know what? We're gonna win New Hampshire by double digits. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Percentage points. <laughs> and the, the reason why we're here today is because we want to we want to have a decisive victory here in California. Yeah. Because we know we can win Orange County. We know it's feeling the burn. We just have to go out there and knock on every single door that is in these neighborhoods. Are y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. So today we have a couple of speakers that are here to pump y'all up and make sure y'all ready to go out there and make sure Bernie is heard and uh, make sure that these communities are uplifted. We have an amazing, amazing activist and organizer here, Ada Briseño, who is who is the co-president of United Here Local 11, yeah. which represents 32,000 uh, hospitality workers in Arizona and Southern California. Please give her a round of yeah. applause. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, as you heard, my name is Ada Piseño. I'm an immigrant. I'm a former dishwasher and also front desk clerk at hotels. I am now the co-president of Unite Here Local 11, representing 32,000, as you yeah. heard. But I'm also the chairwoman of the Democratic Party in Orange County. Yeah. I'm proud to speak to you today, and I'll tell you why I'm proud to speak to you because you will go knock on those doors. You will bring working families and our communities, give them a reason to vote, to use one of the most precious and priceless things we have, our voice, our vote. You will change today, you will change the hearts and minds of voters across Orange County to go out to the polls. When you go up to that door, please be loud and proud. It might be the only chance you'll have to speak to that particular voter, and they need to hear your message. Just know, just know that one chance is sometimes the only thing we have. We need to plead with them to vote for Bernie. That when they vote for Bernie, it means voting for themselves. Voting for Bernie means voting for Medicare for all and for, for the health of their children. It means voting for equality, and it means voting to tear down the power structures that, from the rich that have kept us oppressed for so long. Yeah. When you see folks behind those doors, tell them why you're so passionate about Bernie. As ballots drop, I'm prepared to tell everyone I come across why I'm so proudly voting for Bernie. He's uplifted the plight for working families, it's because of Bernie that the debate, that on the debate stage, we hear most of the presidential candidates speak about working families and labor. This country had forgotten and had given up on union and the middle class. Most politicians forgot we built the middle class. They were afraid of saying union not to upset corporations and the wealthy of this country. That's never been the case for Bernie. He's put it front and center, and other presidential candidates had no choice but to adopt it themselves. Bernie has stood up for my workers, workers that I represent here in California, in Southern California, workers at LMU, where the debate happened a few months back, and Bernie said he would not cross our picket line even if it meant he didn't show up on the debate stage. Bernie stood with, with also Disney workers, where he came to Orange County to have a town hall with our workers. He carried the message across the nation for months, and luckily we were able to win living wages for Disney workers. Woo! Not only in Orange County, California, but also Orange County, Florida, by the way, so you know. Uh, he stood with Le Marigot workers, to protect women in hotel industry against sexual harassment. We will never forget that. His, all, his plight and unwavering stance on Medicare for all. Sickness should not be, uh, should not be compounded as an economic hardship for workers and their families. We should not have to pick between paying for food or medicine. My union has been fighting to protect our members' health care for way too long. Yes, 
We have a strong and a good, solid plan, but it's taken our blood, sweat, and tears. We've struck, we've given up wage increases, and we've traded other benefits. This has to stop. If healthcare was treated as a, as a basic human right, union like ours could get back to fighting for the other needs of working families, such as organizing the unorganized, winning wages that can keep up with soaring rents, securing pensions to enable retirement with dignity, and ending discrimination for all. That's what we think that the labor movement should be doing to represent working families. And lastly, we need immigration reform now. Yeah! Yeah. Those are the issues and the reasons why I stand with Bernie, and that's what I'll tell voters that I come across. What about you? Will you join us to make sure that people at the door hear that? Yeah! yeah. Are you ready to change the hearts and minds of voters today? Yeah! Are you ready to move them to vote? Yes! yes. Are you ready to put Bernie on top in Orange County? Yes! yes. Thank you very much for giving me a chance. Yes. 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 Thank you so much, Ada, for those amazing words of encouragement and uh, and kind words for of support. Next, I would like to also uh, uh, I would like to also introduce an incredible, incredible organizer here in OC. She's the central vice chair of the DPOC, a community leader, and a Latinx and LGBTQ organizer extraordinaire. Everyone, please welcome Betty Valencia. Betty. I'm going to use this. Um, can you hear me okay, I guess? Yes. Well, good morning, good morning. I just want to share with you what I'm feeling this morning. Um, and I want to thank our, our chair for, for really laying out what it is and what it means to elect Bernie. But I'm going to share with you what I'm feeling this morning, if that's okay with you. And this morning, as I was reflecting, I started thinking, why Bernie? Right? And I'm sure we've been asked that question, why Bernie? And we have sort of a scripted answer, if you will, but I'm, I dug deep this morning. Why Bernie? Why Bernie? And I had three things come into my mind, into my consciousness. And the first one was this idea of the American dream. We've all heard this American dream, right? Where we have equal rights, where our voices are heard, where you're not criminalized for being poor. We have this idea, we've been sold on this American dream. And then I realized, and you know this, and we've said this before, sometimes the dream is better than the reality, yes? Yes. yes. Sometimes the dream is better than the reality, but I'm not done having hope for that dream. And this is the number one reason why Bernie for me. Because if I believe in that dream that was promised to each and every one of us for generations, and some of us that came into this country as immigrants, if that dream is to sustain, if that dream has hope, if that dream has any, any oxygen in it, that's why Bernie, am I right? Yeah. yeah! I am not giving up on that dream, and neither is Bernie. And the second thing that goes into this idea of the dream is what does Bernie stand for? And why was I so attracted to this platform? Then I started to think, wouldn't it be amazing if all of us had access to education? Wouldn't it be amazing that if you can get an education but not be in debt for the rest of your adult life? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we could have equal and equity in the access to such knowledge? Yes or no? Yes. yes. And why is knowledge deprived from me or from you? Why is it that I'm paying over $50,000 to, to better myself, to increase my knowledge? Bernie doesn't think that's fair. You don't think that's fair, do you? No. So I started thinking about access to education. What a wonderful idea of this American dream where we all get to experience what it is to have this thing called education and that it should not be for the privileged few. Yes or no? Yes. yes. And then I started to think about, well, you show up in class and you're educated and you're trying to educate yourself. But it's really hard when you have three jobs, yes or no? Yes. It's really hard when you can't pay the rent, 
yes or no? Yes. yes. Very, very hard if you are ill and you can't seek medical attention, isn't it? Yes. yes. And that is the second reason or third reason why, Bernie, because there is something in this idea that we all should be healthy human beings in a country that promised us this dream, yes or no? Yes. yes. And so I want to be healthy, you want to be healthy, so this idea of health care for all is possible. And this is not yeah. I give credit to Dr. Bill. It is not, and we know this, it is not a politics issue. Excuse me, it is not a policy issue. We can do this. It is a politics issue. Yes. Bernie is the only one that has the courage to bring this forward and has been the only one. Now, I read this African proverb this morning. A warrior has courage. He fights not because of anger, but because of courage. Then Bernie entered my mind. This is what he's fighting for. He's fighting for my health, your health, our education, our expansion of our mind. And then I realized, well, you can get to school if you're healthy, but not if you are being criminalized for being poor. We need radical justice reform in our criminal corrupt system. Yes or no? Yes. yes. We are not experiencing the American dream with a livelihood of a new Jim Crow. Bernie Sanders is not afraid to say we need radical reform in our justice system. True that? True that? Yes. 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 We can't get to school if we're incarcerated. True that? Yes. yes. We can't get to school if we're too sick to get to school. True that? Yes. yes. And then I started thinking, why else Bernie? Because, oh yes, there's this idea that I'm included in this platform, by the way. This is what he means when he says us. Woo! This is what it means when he says us, yes? Yes. 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 When somebody thought of me as a whole person with my identities as an immigrant Latina queer woman tried to have all these yeah. things. Well, guess what? There was one person, this warrior, who is not fighting because he's angry, he's fighting because he's courageous. Yes or no? Yes! And so I started thinking about all these things. And I asked myself, when somebody tells me, why Bernie, Betty? Why did you endorse Bernie? And I say, because my livelihood and your livelihood depends on it. Yes or no? Yes! Now, if you're feeling something this morning, I'm feeling a little bit desperate, but I'm also feeling really excited because you're here. And look to the left of you, and look to the right of you. That's the feeling I'm getting, that each one of you is going to make this happen. And I know this. We've been told that this county is blue. You've heard that how many times? Plenty. Plenty of times, but I'm going to tell you, this county is purple. Yes or no? Yes. What we need to do is get it to be Bernie Blue. Yeah. Bernie Blue. We need a Bernie Blue revolution of color, if you will. Yeah. Let's be real. We can have registered Dems. We're still not a blue county. Not when we're fighting locally for all our rights. And so when we think about, somebody said this to me, why are you worried about presidential? You should be focused on local politics. Well, guess what? We focus on local all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Local all the way to the top, yeah. and I have the same criteria and the same hope for our local government that I do for the top of the presidency. And that is that we get the right people, the right visionaries, the right warriors who fight with courage and stand with courage, thinking of every single one of us. Because yes, you will hear my vote, but I am more than a vote. You are more than a vote. We are more than a vote. We are human beings that deserve justice, climate justice, health justice, and yes, my friends, we should not be living in an America that has an institution called ICE. Yes. Yes. Nowhere in that dream is there an institution called ICE that would survive in that dream. That is not our dream, and so yes, Bernie Sanders is the only one strong enough to say that institution serves no purpose in our American dream, not my dream, not your dream. So I thank you today for showing up. This is not easy canvassing, but I tell you this and I tell this to our team. You are delivering good news today. Yep. You know what that feels like. It doesn't have to be, you know, the big religious coming of anything. This is real right here. This is real. You have someone that you believe in and you are knocking on a door saying, hey, guess what? I have good news for you today. I know this person who's fighting for you, for me, for these reasons. And so when you feel nervous or you're uninspired, think of that. You are carrying with you the good news that is Bernie Blue. Yeah. yeah. 
you are bearing the news of Bernie Blue. So yes, our county is purple, only we can change it to Bernie Blue. Are we in? Yes! Did you hear that? Yes. That's the feeling I was feeling this morning. Thank you for letting me speak. I'm so inspired. I'm big time Bernie, and I look forward to all of us meeting with him when he's elected as our next president. Yes. Thank you so much, Betty, for those amazing words of wisdom. Let's give her another round of applause.